What's up everyone? It's Nick here with the Buzzlux YouTube channel. And we're doing the benchmark of Euro Truck Sim 2 on the Linux build. As you can see here we have everything pretty much maxed out as far as we can go, except for uh super sampling and stuff. Um to apply this. Okay, let's back out of here. Alright, we have VSync turned off at the moment. Get moving here, figure out the controls. Looks like we have the settings up a little too high for this. Um, looks like we're getting about looks kind of weird. I think one of these settings are bugging out here. Second here, figure out how to change some of this back down. Um, let's just put it on a high, simple settings. See how that goes. Alright, here we go. High settings, 70 frames per second here. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes, I would be, uh, I would be very dangerous on the road driving a semi. Alright. As you can see here, pretty cool looking game. And I don't, I don't think you really need to have 60 frames per second on here. Um, so you might be able to get away with some a little bit higher settings, but smoother the better, I guess. Oops. <laughs> All right. As you can see, maintain pretty good frames. Now I'm not sure if the Going East expansion is ported to Linux or not. This might just be the regular Euro Truck Sim. But yeah, as you can see, frames are pretty reasonable, totally playable. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get out of here and we'll check the, check the temperatures. Okay, check the temperatures here, focus there, oh, that's not very demanding at all on the CPU, only got up to 66 degrees, uh, and then uh, 59 on the GPU. Alright, so that was my Euro Truck Sim 2 benchmark, thank you for watching.